is Stephanie from Centered Threads. You might remember this dress from a long time ago. I altered it on here to fit me, um, but then I remembered I don't go anywhere. So when my toughest client ever saw this dress and asked if I could alter it to fit her, I said, sure. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys how I would go about that process. Um, taking a normal dress that is fit for an average adult woman and sizing it way down to fit someone who's much smaller than me. So here's my mannequin that I use for my toughest client ever. Um, she might be small, but she will fight you, and she is very particular. <laughs> Just to give you an idea, the last time I had to make a dress for her, it had to have wings, and the wings had to have pockets, and they had to fly for real. So, first thing I want to do is, well, you're probably thinking, can't you just scale it down to make it fit her? And maybe yes, but there's a lot of features on this dress that I don't want to keep, starting with the plunging neckline. It's just not appropriate for someone her age. So the first thing I want to do, her chest is right about here. I want to bring it up to cover that, I'm just going to pin it in place. And then I want to close up the neckline. There's also the curve in the dress for cups, the shape. We can just take the cups out and we can take out the curve of that dress because we won't need it. And then, in the back, there is a deep, low back. And, I mean, come on. <laughs> so, what I want to do is take the zipper that's here. Normally, this would be an adult's lower back area. But I want to take the zipper and have it as an extension from the straps. So take it out, make the straps the new zipper area. And then bring this up to meet the straps so it can be one continuous zipper. And then from here, since we have so much slack in the sides, I'm going to, you probably can't see it, but there are side cutouts right here that I want to get rid of. I want it to be an all solid underneath lining. So what I'm going to do is try and just dart those out completely. Just get rid of them. And what I'm thinking while I'm making darts and taking out pieces, I'm hoping that all the sequins will be so distracting that you won't see any of the strange scenes that might not be there. So it doesn't look very pretty right now got flaps of fabric all over the place. But I have a general idea of structurally what I want to do. I want to close up all the holes basically. Um, she'll also need a hem. Her hem I've already pinned off. I had her put it on so I have the hem here well above her feet. Uh, because she in particular runs and climbs. This thing will be going across the monkey bars, down the slide. So I want it to be well above her feet so she doesn't trip on it. Because Alright, so I'm going to make these changes and then see what we get. Look at this little tiny Hollywood dress, you guys. Okay, so for those who sew and want to know what I've done, 
I know for a fact, like I said before, that this dress will be on the playground, running around, jumping off of things, rolling in the dirt. And for that reason, I focused on strength instead of the beautiful aspect of sewing. And by that, I mean, um, instead of taking the time to make sure the outside and the inside looks good, I instead put my focus on things like it had an invisible zipper before and I took that out and put in a heavy duty jacket zipper. Something that had tape that wasn't even going to come close to the sequence so it can just go up and down no problem. Um, anyone who has children or works with children know that their demands are very specific and very essential to them and everyone else having a good day, right? Things need to be loose, soft, comfortable, easy to work with. And that was what I was trying to go with here. Just put it on, zip it up. Has a nice short hem so her feet can run around and she's not tripping on it. Nice room for her arms. As you can see, I took the straps and made a racer back. I love this so much. I think she's going to love it too. There's a lot of little fine things that I would do differently if I ever had to do this particular thing again. Um, but I know that she is going to wear this way more than I ever would have. Probably every three days or whenever I end up doing laundry. And for that, I think it's worth it. Thanks, guys.